Hi everybody, this is Lieke McGillifree and uh, I was busy with something and I thought, well, I might share this. Interesting because I'm seeing very much hand stitching uh, nowadays on the, on the group and uh, they stitch journals with, uh, with fabric and uh, I am always searching for a perfect thing to um, uh, as a thimble to protect my fingers or my hands and I saw this one on a Japanese stitching site I'll try to find it and I'll put the link uh, for the original because she makes very beautiful uh, pieces so um, but I thought um, sometimes you need a little bit sturdier uh, than uh, fabric to protect your hands. I, I have many times uh, already um, made something out of one uh, thin piece of leather like a, like a, like something like this and then I had it the needle when I pushed very hard going through it so um, but then I was busy with that um, stone paper and I'm looking for a little piece to I just threw something out but I can take this piece off <laughs> well let's take this because I was trying if it would work and uh, say this is your your needle and you want to uh, push very hard to the limits see it won't go and this will go through the, the needle passes through uh, the hard plastic sooner than through the dingus, the, the stone paper. So I thought that's really nice. So uh, first I made this one um, and I put just two pieces of leather and I hand stitched it and uh, before I stitched the, the uh, ring on the on this piece I put a bread in and I did the bread uh, with this normally you use this for snaps for button snaps snap buttons I don't know how you call it snap buttons and then I took a bread and I made a little uh, how do you call it a dimple in it in the middle preferably uh, with my hammer watch your ears so i i took a few times to uh, increase it i don't know can't find the word now so you have a little uh, hole so your um, needle will stay in and not go out. So this is something I'm going to try out. But uh, since I was working with the stone paper, I thought, well, maybe stone paper will be better than this because you have the whole thing and you don't have to aim that much for the middle. So, I'm just going to try things out, and uh, but I thought I'd share you in the process to how to make these. Uh, for the leather, I took two circles. Uh, you can, you can uh, use your uh, math compass. Why am I still heavy? <laughs> 
stay. I thought I'd do everything in a little. So I have everything at hand, but okay, well, this will go flat. It's too heavy. Um, you can take a piece of paper and make uh, a few of these, or in the stone paper, you can put it right on, and then you also have the middle, that's, that's uh, nice. But you also have these things, and it's a kind of uh, protector again. Um, and for uh, this, I took the biggest size, and uh, I will need uh, this one to make the smaller size. Because maybe then you don't have to um, sew it through altogether. And maybe you can even put a little bit less. But I think I'm gonna sew this one on my machine and see how it will take. And, uh, and I also thought maybe it's also um, possible just to have this. And then uh, the stone paper, just, uh, and then decorate it nicely. So I will try that. So this is... Um, I don't know if I need to see, let you show you. Uh, well, this is how it works. And... You need to. So... I'm gonna aim. And then you can cut them out by hand. So you can also take take these and then you have an uh, a pattern, a mold to draw around. So or a piece of cardstock. You can also Take something like this, a bottle, and draw around it. But it's nice to know where the middle is because uh, then you can put something like this. Or I'm gonna try out a button like this because this has a a piece in the middle that will keep the needle for from going out. So. And this is also a nice button maybe to use. They are real metal ones, so no plastic. So that might be uh, nice. I'm just gonna try it out. And um, with this one, I look the middle up by putting the needle in and uh, making a, a little bit hole and then you find the, the middle. And then take this. And this is an aquarel pencil. And maybe it's a little bit. But I thought, well, it's pink. And I have it at hand. So I'm using that. Uh, what you need is straps. And this one is uh, three centimeters. Less than three centimeters, but maybe it's a little too wide, so I took a, a, a smaller for this one, and that was um, two centimeters. And this one also, because yeah, this is uh, it. It won't uh, cut you. Well, maybe if you do your hardest best, uh, it will cut you, but. Uh, but it's a little bit sharp. I don't know how you call it, but it's straight and uh, not so nice. Uh, I was thinking while I was busy with it, maybe you can fold it up uh, like uh, how you call it, bien bands, like like the band that's fold to the middle and to the middle. Is this enough for one? Yeah. So let's take this. I need some more stone paper, but okay. 
sacrifice the stone paper and uh, it will be maybe comfortable how much is this four centimeters Let's take four centimeters. This small one? I don't think so. <clears throat> and fold it to the middle and besides it's maybe comfortable more comfortable it will also give you an extra layer for the protection of your um, skin i'll take glue i'm just gonna start with this this is good glue <laughs> So, clouds. And you can also do this with, if you have a thinner kind of leather, you want to make it sturdier. So this will make a more comfortable. So what I did was uh, take this and then pinch it so you have the right size like this and um, I'm hesitating if I will um, glue this because it should be so I can also take this and glue it like I want to but sewing if I sew it like this and I will open it up I'm gonna sew this and I already took my machine out so I'm gonna sew it immediately I made some more space so you see the increase I am want to sew it on that side and not in because you will need some so let's see if it will take It does. 
eagerly. <laughs> so I'm going to put it another time. One time back. Oh, something is not right. Mm, I don't know what's bugging it. But I'm gonna take it out. It was enough. I think it's stuck somewhere. The threads. Oops. So cut it off. And see. Well, so I'm gonna cut, take this out. If your thread is stuck, uh, most of the time all you need to do is go backwards. So take your, uh, how do you call it? So move it with your hand on that side of the machine and move it back instead of forward and a little bit and then what is stuck will let go. So. Um, just put it back. Let's hope it's nothing serious, <laughs> or else we have to do everything by hand. Let's see. Oh. Put it in a needle, why don't you? Okay. Well, that's life. I think it's okay now. So. Don't waste my stone paper. So, let's see if this is all right. Mm. Yes. So, what I'll do is I'll glue the, the round parts on this and where did I put it? The smaller ones or the bigger ones? These. So I made two of these and maybe well I don't know if I need another one. I think two is enough. And then with the... Uh... You can also... Put it on your hand and then s see where you want it. I think I did it upside down. Maybe, yeah. So, where's my glue? Here's my glue.
so I think this is the right place See, it's not in the middle, so better put your ring on and then, uh, I don't know why this is not in the middle, because this is in the middle, and it's okay also, so you have to figure out for yourself how you want it, because now this is in the middle and it's okay, just, I don't know. Let's put it on again. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So, this is one thing. Um, put the other one on. And you can always decorate it some some way or another or maybe with a nice fabric or with a piece of oh. so let's see how this works I'm gonna test it maybe make it nice but now the leather one mm, i'm going to glue the oh i have to cut it out So, cut this out, and these are really nice scissors. <laughs> I thought I have scissors, much scissors, but I got these for my birthday for myself, and then I often forget I have them. So this is the better side, but for now, I'm going to glue them on. Come on. And preferably leave the outside without glue. So your needle won't get dirty. But I also want to leave this to dry a little bit. But preferably Don't glue. It's just for when you are stitching that it won't glide off. So. And I was going to tell you that this one. The other I made gone walking in oh, here yeah. I stitch by hand and uh, it's nice to have a, a leather needle even though you have made um, holes with this um, it's still nice to have an, a leather needle and the way you make holes is um, let's see if I have enough for another one so I can show you.
this is how we use the thing and then I need a needle to aim for the middle which is handy so I don't know if I can take it up I think well this is small enough so now I have the middle of this one you can see the hole and I'm just gonna put it there so and you only need one so this one I think I'm gonna do with the Um, with a button because it will also be very decorative I think and um, maybe I'll take to be sure if you if you scooch accidentally out of the button that you will make a hole in your skin you always need to be don't be that drastic that you make a hole in your finger and just be careful because well you don't want to bleed on your stuff <laughs> so this is one and um, I'm gonna take one of this yeah this so I'm gonna glue that too and then I'm gonna make a hole for the bottom still see me and then I'm doing it with this I hope it will go through if not I need to have punch okay it does so that's okay I'll do it from this side also That I have it. So let's see if the bottom will go through, which is the smallest. Doesn't matter that much. I need a bigger hole or take this. So this goes through. Can I use it like this? Well, I can. Maybe I need to hammer it down a bit. Let's see if this works. Maybe I'm gonna take the other. Yeah. 
this is better it's just I want to get the needle through this is my needle yes see if it will go it will go but it's a little bit well it will go so if I take four threads maybe I'll need just one go through it's just that it's stuck and I can also uh, first take a needle and a thread and then when it's on I can also take some glue to put it better. And the, the bread is uh, white, a little bit white the legs. So if you have it uh, on you can bend it with your... Uh, with your pliers and then uh, push it down so they won't stick in your fingers because they're sharp so that's what you gotta do so I got this one on it's very nice isn't it I like it I'm gonna see if this will be okay to sew it on. My machine still works. I'm just gonna cut this so you can bring it a little bit together but it's already nice I think this is very sturdy so this is one and I had leather strip strip and I have more strip yes and this one, I'm gonna sew that also while I'm at it. not done properly is there something going on maybe it is a little bit too thick but 
I will cut it off. It's it's already glued, so. And I, if I must be honest, I like the hand stitching more. So I think I'm gonna put it another thing by hand. I don't know the other one as well. Okay, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe the thread was too loose. Oh, I can see now. This is not where I, how it should be. Well, klaar. Done. Done with the sewing. Oh, I need to do the strap also. Well, you have seen me uh, sew the letters, uh, the stone paper strap. So, uh, it's the same. You have to... And you can also sew it by hand. And that's, I think that's nicer, sewing by hand. So I think you got the, 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 the drift. And uh, I think this is it for now. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. So you can also um, make it uh, with a, let's see, can I reach it? Yeah. Because you're going to, so it's better. So it's secure and then I'm gonna going to find something nice to to put on. It's a little bit pliable still, so it needs to be worked in. And if you want, you can also put put a piece of leather over it and sew that on. So there are many ways, but you you see how it works and uh, how you can assemble it and uh, make your own choice of what you want, what you think is nice. Because I also have nice um, decorations. Like washy things like that, but no, that is not as sturdy as uh, um, as leather or um, and maybe a, a piece of uh, cotton will be nicer. And then stitch it first, nice with some embroidery. You see, you can put it round and. Uh, Make some nice embroidery first. So things like that. Or a piece of uh, felt is also nice. Uh, maybe with embroidery. But I think this is nice. This uh, feels good. It feels sturdy. Yeah. So... This is it. I hope you're going to make some. Let me show you. Uh, show me. <laughs> show me what you made. And uh, I'm curious to see how it's... If you knew already something like this. If you already made one. Because I don't see them uh, around that much. So when, uh, when I finish these, I will, I will show them while... Uh, I am busy with the with the other project with the pink album. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see more things like this, or if you have an idea what you want to see, what you want me to show you, tell me. Give a reaction. And uh, I'm always in for an.
new thing to work out so thanks for watching bye